Welcome, welcome everyone. My name's Josh, or Konokan Khan, if you happen to stumble across my Twitch channel. Today, I'm going to be explaining the Condi Renegade DPS rotation, as well as some of the tips that I've found to make your life that little bit easier when you're actually trying to do this during a boss fight. Revenant has basically been my main class for the last year or so, and recently I've spent a lot of time practicing the rotation, trying my best to eke out a slightly higher benchmark. So I thought it would be nice to share that experience with you, so you can avoid being held hostage by an obsessive need for higher numbers on the training golem like I was. One of the nicest things about the Condi Renegade rotation is that it can more or less be broken down into two parts, which just so happen to loop perfectly. This makes it fairly easy to learn, because you can just learn each half of the rotation, slap them together, and you're good to go. Some minor rules of thumb to help understand the rotation. The two legends that you'll be taking are Kala and Malix. These legends effectively make the two halves of the rotation. Each of these legends are also linked to a specific weapon set. While you're in Kala, you'll be on Mace and Axe. When you're in Malix, you'll be using Shortbow. On top of your typical skill cooldowns, Revenant also has a separate resource to manage with energy. This energy both regenerates and degrades over time depending on what skills are used. But due to the fact that your energy resets each time you swap legends, you want to use as much of your energy as possible on important skills while you're in each legend. This energy mechanic also has a really important interaction with the trait Charge Miss. This trait gives you an additional 25 energy on legend swap, provided that you swap when you have less than 10 energy. This means that you'll have extra energy to squeeze in extra skills during each half of the rotation, which typically leads to higher DPS overall. However, this does come at the cost of it being a little bit more complex to play. In this video, I'm going to run through the two different rotations, one without the charge miss trait, and one with it. First, we'll look at the rotation without charge miss. I find this rotation to be a little bit easier, given you don't have to manage your energy as closely as you do with the charge miss trait. Before we get to the two halves of the rotation, we'll quickly touch on the opening skills. The main purpose of an opener is to quickly use your highest value skills to spike your damage and then settle into the meat of your rotation. Depending on whether you're alone or in a group, there are two slightly different opening bursts that you can do. The main difference is whether you focus on Citadel Bombardment for higher personal DPS, or Razor Claw's Rage for higher group DPS. When you are alone, you won't get as much value from Razor Claw. The opening burst then becomes Axe 5, Citadel Bombardment, and Mace 3. From here, we then start in the Malak's half of the rotation. When you're in a group, Razor Claw becomes a slightly better choice than Citadel Bombardment, therefore the opener becomes Razor Claw's Rage, hold for a second or until you reach 29 energy, Ice Razor's Ire, Axe 5, then Mace 3. Again, then we jump into the Malix half of the rotation. A quick note about the Malix Elite skill, Embrace the Darkness pulses a stack of Torment each second, and will pulse an additional two Torment stacks if you use a skill with an energy cost between each pulse. This is more or less anything that is not an auto attack. So generally, you want to use a single shortbow auto attack between your 2, 3 and 4 skills. This means that each skill should be used on a single elite pulse and nets you those extra torment stacks. And once you practice this enough, it sort of just becomes muscle memory. For the Malik's half, we'll first activate our elite, mace 2, weapon swap, shortbow 2, shortbow 4, shortbow 3, Shortbow 2. Cancel your Elite shortly after Shortbow 2. We'll then Shortbow 2 again. Activate the Elite when you have more than 25 energy and quickly press Shortbow 3 and Shortbow 4. From here, you Legend Swap and then start the Color half of the rotation. For the Color half of the rotation, we first use Shortbow 2, Weapon Swap, immediately use Mace 2, Mace 3, Citadel Bombardment, Axe 5, we then do one auto attack, and then mace 2. Then, quickly perform two auto attack chains. Then mace 2, Razor Claw's Rage, mace 3. Now, you swap legends and go back to the Malix half of the rotation. From here, you just loop between these two halves and it flows together perfectly. With Charge Miss, we now gain extra energy whenever we swap below 10 energy. This allows us to squeeze in those extra skills at the cost of a little bit more complexity. Oddly enough, this ends up making the Malik's half of the rotation easier because you no longer need to cancel your elite skill to conserve energy. However, it makes the color section harder because it leaves you with a very small window in which you can use all the skills you need before your energy regenerates to above 10 
and stops charge miss from triggering. As mentioned before, the only difference with the Malik's half of the rotation is that you no longer have to cancel your elite skill after the second short bow too, now that you have some extra energy to spare. This section just becomes way easier. In the color half of the rotation, with this extra energy, you can now squeeze in Ice Razor's ire after Razor Claw towards the end of the loop. One important thing with this rotation is that your Mace 2 skill actually has a fairly long aftercast. This is where the skill has already been cast, but you're stuck in an animation that doesn't really do anything. You can cancel this by quickly pressing another skill or spamming your auto attack. Given how little time you actually have in color, this makes a difference. If you're too slow when doing the color rotation, you'll end up with more than 10 energy when you want to swap, and then you need to adapt your rotation. An easy way to deal with this, if you find yourself with a little bit of excess energy when in Kala, you can quickly activate Heroic Command to grant some extra might to your team and use up 10 energy. This is massively useful if you need to deal with encounter mechanics or if you just happen to perform the rotation a little bit slower while you're still learning it. If you do mess up the charge miss swap, then you'll start in the next legend with 50 energy rather than 75. This means you can just do the rotation that we worked through previously in the non-charge miss rotation without breaking the flow. They need to regularly adapt your rotation, especially when you're learning it, depending on whether you manage to time your legend swap correctly, is where a lot of the complexity of the renegade rotation comes from. This is totally doable, you may just need a few more wrinkles on the brain. While you're still learning the rotation, or if you simply don't want to have to worry about managing your energy perfectly, I'd recommend swapping out charge miss for song of the miss. This will give you additional bonuses on Legend Swap, and it's only slightly lower DPS. You could also swap out the Invocation trait line for Devastation if you want to take advantage of some extra lifesteal. However, Invocation generally results in higher DPS these days. While the Charge Miss rotation is slightly harder and forces you to keep an eye on your energy, the extra energy it gives you does result in higher DPS. It also makes it easier to slot in extra skills for CC or extra utility as needed. If you want to provide alacrity as a renegade, it's more or less required to run charge mist for the extra energy in order to squeeze in orders from above. The trickiest part about providing alacrity here is that your orders from above won't always be off cooldown in the same legend, so you'll need to adapt your rotation differently depending on where it lands. Fear not though, orders from above just so happens to have the same energy cost as Ice Razor's Ire, so depending on what legend we use it in, we just have to go back to the old non-charge miss rotation. So if you need to use orders while you're in color, just skip Ice Razor's Eye at the end of the rotation. If you need to use it when in Malix, make sure to deactivate your elite after your second short bow too, and then reactivate it before spamming short bows three and four at the end of the rotation. With that, you should now have complete mastery of the Condi Renegade rotation and have ascended to a previously unheard of plane of existence. If you enjoyed this video, Feel free to like and subscribe so I can keep making more of them.